Now let's move on to the third category of reaction in which there will be additions on the phenyl ring of this phenol. There could be many additions. Let's start from the kind of reactions, addition reaction that we studied in the chapter of hydrocarbon where we studied reactions when we studied addition on benzene. Now this is phenol. The one thing that you have to keep in mind is this phenyl ring in phenol is highly activated ring. In benzene, the electrons are revolving, rotating in, inside the ring. There is no electron pumping going on from outside the ring. In this case, oxygen has a lone pair and this oxygen will do resonance with the ring. If you draw the first resonating structure, starting from oxygen, oxygen has a lone pair, oxygen will give its lone pair to the carbon atom which is, which is directly attached to oxygen. In order to accept that lone pair, the carbon should develop a plus charge on it itself. So you will shift the pi bond like this. This carbon will gain a negative charge and the carbon which is attached to the oxygen will gain a positive charge. Oxygen will give its electron to the carbon. So oxygen will gain a positive charge on itself. I'm so sorry. This is a resonating structure that you're going to get. And this negative resonating structure, if you draw the next RS, this negative charge is going to come here. In the next RS, this negative charge is going to come here. In the next RS, this negative charge is going to back, going to go back on oxygen. So oxygen is going to be neutralized. So there will be five RS. In the three RS, the negative charges are on the ring. And the charges are on ortho and para position. This discussion we had in great detail when we studied the electrophilic aromatic substitution. So negative charges are on ortho positions and para positions and phenyl ring is said to be a activated ring because electron is being pumped into the phenyl ring. Electron density is high so it is activated for reaction. So reaction in the phenyl ring will be much more vigorous than that of benzene. Keeping this in mind. If I add conch HNO3 and H2SO4. If you remember, this concentrated nitric acid and sulfuric acid are nit nitrating mixture. They cause nitration. This sulfuric acid protonate this nitric acid, water comes out and this, this electrophile is produced during the reaction and this nitronium ion is the one that's go for the reaction. How it is formed? It's simple. You protonate nitric acid, bring water out from the nitric acid and you will get this nitronium ion. We have done this in great detail when we studied nitration. If you have any trouble in identifying how all this nitronium ion is being produced, just type down nitration on YouTube. You will get a video correspondingly. Let's listen to that. This is nitronium ion and uh, this is what is produced. Now, in case of benzene, we drew nitrobenzene. When we were asked to draw the product of the same mixture on benzene ring, right? But in this case of phenol, because the ring is activated, so the extent of reaction will be more. And the extent is reac of reaction is such that on all these three positions, this nitronium ion gets inserted. This, these two ortho and this para where there is negative charge polarity. So this nitronium ion will be inserted on all the three positions because the ring is activated. So what you will have is two, four, six trinitrophenol. And this is called as picric acid. This is an important acid, know this name. This is called picric acid. So if you carry out nitration, if you add nitrating mixture with the concentration high, if you add concentrated nitric acid and sulfuric acid on phenol, you are going to get picric acid. Fine. You can also add on phenol bromine 
aqueous bromine you take water as a solution and you add bromine to phenol when we added when we did bromination on bromine then we had to use alcl3 along with it if you remember when we did bromination on benzene ring in the chapter hydrocarbon then we added albr3 along with bromine the purpose of addition of albr3 was this albr3 helps produce bromonium ion this br plus is produced by albr3 and this br plus approaches benzene ring now in this case of phenol you don't require the assistance of albr3 because the ortho and para position in case of phenol have negative charge polarities and these ortho and para positions can approach this bromine and they on themselves can initiate the reaction this time so they are going to put it electron into the anti bonding of bromine and from the front end one of the bromide ion is going to come out so this carbon is going to form a bond with this bromine so we don't need bromonium ion to be produced so in this case we don't require any albr3 just add br2 and the job would be done and because this is activated ring reaction will take place from all the three sides so what you are going to get as your product is 246 tribromophenol this is your product now if you don't want three bromines to be added if you don't want tribromination to occur then uh, we can make the system less polar if you take cs2 as a solvent instead of water because what happens in water uh, uh, this phenol is ionized and this phenol turns into phenoxide ion when phenol turns into phenoxide ion then the extent of resonance is even higher because this oxygen is neutral this oxygen has negative charge the tendency of this oxygen to give its electron into the orbitals of carbon will be higher than that of neutral carb oxygen because when this oxide ion the, when this o minus give its electron it is neutralized so the extent of resonance extent of electron flow into the ring is higher when oxygen has negative charge so in case of phenoxide ion the charge polarities at ortho and para positions are very high in case the ionization is not there then the charge polarities are less so when we writing when we write br2 aqueous it is understood that this phenol has been ionized in water and it has turned into phenoxide ion but when we take a non polar solvent like cs2 then uh, what happens this ionization of phenol is not there when there is no ionization then the extent of resonance is less when the extent of resonance is less the charge polarities at ortho and para positions are less when the charge polarities at ortho and para positions are less then the extent of reaction is less when the extent of reaction is less then the number of bromine at atom added on the ring are less and in this case there will be monobromination at ortho and para positions the one at para will be the major because of repulsion at ortho okay